And I understand this is an emotive subject and it's given rise to public concern. So what we've said is there are two measures which we're taking. One, to make sure that no transgender person already in custody with any history of violence against women will not be moved from the male to the female estate and that no newly convicted transgender prisoner with any history of violence against women will be placed uh, in the female estate. And I think that adds to the uh, excellent work done by the SPS but provides that level of public reassurance. Imagine it- on a regular basis, but my understanding is there are no uh, transgender women in the ma- in the female estate that are convicted of uh, violence against women, uh, have violence against women convictions. As I say, that does change. And I should also mention